What's going on, crime fighters? I am Vengeance, I am the Knight, and welcome back to the channel. And today we have something very, very, very special to me, and it's going to be a long video. I, if I have to break it up in two parts, then I will. But today I'm reacting to a reaction. And this is from the channel Holden Hardman, who has, though exceedingly, and with a quickness, become one of my favorite YouTubers, um, I love his content, um, I love his vibe, everything, and he has a special on their series, I should say, called My Friend Watches, which has been him and his friend Matt, who for the first time is being exposed to the MCU, it has been amazing, I love both of them, I love the missus as well, Jenny, I love everybody, uh, I said Jenny, Jenna, um, I love them all, the takes are great, it's really interesting to see an outside perspective on these films. And they recently put out Black Panther. Now you know how I feel about Black Panther. Those of you that subscribe to my channel, I mean, he's sitting right behind me. That's Charla Bear. Say what's up. He's going to be watching with us as well. I'm not going to watch from beginning to end. I'm going to watch where the film picks up, where they start the film, and then watch the discussions after. Hopefully my camera and space allows me to do that. Um, if not, I definitely will break it up into two parts. Um, but yeah, Holden... Like I said, I'm holding the mat. You guys have quickly become some of my favorite YouTubers, man. I love your content. And this really struck with me. When I watched this, I was like, oh, my God. It was almost like watching it for the first time in theaters, seeing it through Matt's perspective. And everything he just said just... <laughs> oh. Anyway, I'm not going to waste too much time. I'm going to jump right into it because, like I said, it gets it's a pretty long video. All right, let's get into it. Black, Black Panther. Panther. Subscribe to Pastor's channel. Not this one. <laughs> Millions of years ago. And obviously that's Matt, the one next to him on the right eating the popcorn is Holden. Jenna on the left, Pastor on the far right with the Superman shirt. Five tribes settled on it and called it. Now, Wakanda. Matt is the one sitting in the middle. Watch his reactions strong. during all of this. Glory it's amazing. Glory to in good health. Change you lie to me. Leave him. You Wakandan this whole time. Do betray Wakanda. How could you lie to me like... The tiny nation of Wakanda is mourning the death of its Such a powerful film, man. Just don't freeze when you see her. I never freeze. Coming. Coming. Ah! Ass whooping the This one's just a boy. Man, I wish they were in New York area, man. I would well. so Not like yet. clap and just chill with them and do all this. Of I course. love their crew aesthetic. I love all of it, man. You tell me you're the expert. Uh, and then me and Matt say. also share a very similar my British soldiers in Benin, um, but it's from Wakanda. And it's made feeling of on the end credit scene. How do you think your ancestors got First things? one. You think they paid a fair price? You got all this security in here watching me ever since I walked in. <clears throat> but you ain't checking for what you're putting in your body. You can go, but just don't tell anyone. About and those that know, Matt is a very big medical enthusiast. No, I'm just feeling it. With could these. not keep his own father. That's Matt face Safe. number one. Look at that. I just love how, look how engaged he is. And to put context of it, he's not like... Oh, hold on, let's get into it. That's his bygone gym Jackie. moments. What we call it. Very popular among King. the series. Tichala. Just to note, well, Matt has father. never really stood up like this during an MCU film. I just want to put that out there. It's very rare he's that engaged like that. And that's what I love. Like. And that speaks to so much on what he says at the end and the power of this movie. Is to death than he is to life. But that doesn't mean that he's not alive. I am not ready to be without you. Sorry, I'm it trying to talk so much, but so you can hear them. And what are these? The real question is, what are those? <laughs> <laughs> And I made them completely sound absorbent. Guess I what hate I call YouTube's them? ten points. Sneakers. <laughs> Just wait. Ten back minutes, and forth. I should say, because I want so much more it's of this. Disgrace. Like at full. I think I'll just take these, bring them Stand over Stand the here. man. That was a funny ass cut off. <laughs> Tell me, Holden, if you're watching this, man, Endgame is in two parts, man. A lot of editing, sorry. About $20 or something for compensation. Two parts. <laughs> Every breath you take is massive from me. Hi, Kumkani. Listen, Love I've that. given you guys a favor by letting you even be in here. 
Do not tell it's me awesome. what is possible. Tell me the truth. Another deep I promise the I want that to say fifth that. I am your king guy. now. Communities flooded with drugs and weapons. They are overly policed More and moments. incarcerated. All over the planet, Love our this. people Love suffer it. because they don't have the tools to fight back. He drew his weapon on me. No. 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 Your That's father engaging. killed his own brother. Engaging, man. My life. And the child. Lefty. And they get into that subject at the end too. It's amazing. Don't and this is. Like that, colonizer. And these are these are obviously <laughs> ever, white people outside of a pastor, outside of pastor, and, and that is a white man. Also, you know, for everything to resonate, it's about two billion people all over does the world. Happen. It looks like us. It's but their moving. Lives are it's amazing. Harder. I found my daddy with panther claws in his chest. You ain't the son of a king. You are a son of a murderer. Who y'all see, son? <laughs> I took life from my own brothers and sisters right here on this continent. And all this death, just, just so I can kill you. you. I am the ghost of your father. And it's funny, anything now that I Must see, be. look at the matte face. Me. I'll take you both, Uncle James. No! I'm your king. We have to go now. Yes, Miss Bassett, fine ass. The sun Look, risen up again. The most beautiful it's rare life. in the series that he does that. You back long ago. Or maybe your home is the ones that's lost. <laughs> when black folks started revolutions, they never had the firepower or the resources to fight their oppressors. They'll arm oppressed people all over the world so they can finally rise up and kill those in power and their children. You cannot talk. One more word. <laughs> and I will He's like, yeah. To my children. Don't I'm talk. We are vegetarians. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the medical. That's the medical. He hits on things that are just like Our medical bullshit. Dependent you are them. wrong <laughs> to turn your backs on the rest of the world. I never yielded. Which as you can see, I am not dead. You are not fit to be a king. I love it. You'll never be a true king. The fucking hype. Ah, you want to see us become just like the people you hate, hate so, so much. much. Divide and conquer the land and see. No, I learned from my enemies. Beat them at their own game. You, you have, have become, become them. Would you kill me, my love? Oh, I can't. Without question. Feel it, man. Feel it, man. <laughs> Maybe we can still heal you. Why? So you can just lock me up. Just bury me in the ocean. With my ancestors that jumped from the ships. Because they knew death was better, was better than bondage. This is where our okay. father killed our uncle. I bought this building. Why? My favorite part coming up now. And it's my favorite reaction to this, to this date. More Never has it been a clap. Watch. Us. Look at his face. The wise build bridges, while the foolish build barriers. We must find a way to look, look after one another, as if we were one single. single. Look at that. That's emotion right there, man. I absolutely love it. He wants to go back. The illusions of the vision threaten our very existence. God, that hits so hard, bro. I thought we were going to be able to do this and video. And that's what I love. That is my favorite end scene what's going on of right now. all time. We're not going to be able to do it. There's just too much in this movie. To this movie. day, First it makes off, me cry every Jenna, time. Jenna, I know that you've just seen it before, feels, but now the that you music, know that it's the part message, of the, MCU, the delivery. How do you feel about it now? Everything. This movie is so much, even more than Listen. I remembered it. Like, I remember it being a good movie. Even She's seen it already the previously. The base of the understanding of the vibranium and all of that. Besides the vibranium and then the Winter Soldier at the very end, I don't think there was really too many other MCU type of things. The best mm -hmm. description of this movie is just that wholesome, like, Very loyalty and honor. I loved so many of the characters. Usually, 
in these movies, there's like the main character is the one you really um, kind of grab onto as far as their storyline, mm -hmm. but M'Baku, incredible fight scene. Mm -hmm. Nakia was driving the car Great in the, the chase scene, and then she ended up just sitting. The score by Ludwig, with the, the, water the, the waterfall wall. fight. I laughed out loud at that one too. Like it was kind of unexpected because it was really serious scenes, but it was good humor. The general, how do you say her name? Okoye. Okoye. What a great general. She's a great fighter. She, yes, she just is. looked very regal and royal. And there, they touched on the consequences, like multi generational consequences of bad decisions. I guess would be the mm -hmm. the best way to describe it. The soundtrack was incredible. I think that's going to be able to touch on a lot. Oscar of winning. I think the one that stands out more than anything in the end credit scene where he says, "More connects us than separates us." And I think that's a really good over, yeah. <laughs> that's how I feel. Ah, fucking. I got hit with an ad. So, there we go. Uh, it brought Not me back right. to the Christopher Nolan Batman movies. The opening was very engaging. It was very, you know, mm -hmm. okay, the movie started. That's it. You know, we got your attention. It wasn't boring. And like Jenna right. said, this movie doesn't start. need the MCU to be standalone. I mean, it could be a standalone film. It doesn't need the MCU at all. Mm -hmm. It was as visually stunning as Aquaman was when they went to Wakanda. That's the feeling I got. Which there, Aquaman was robbed movies that because it didn't. You can't get the full effect unless you see them come out in time. Theater, that should have won the Oscar really for visuals. <laughs> when I saw Aquaman and they go to Atlantis, it just looked like it was otherworldly. Mm -hmm. The same thing with Wakanda. Both of the ceremonial fight scenes brought me back to Troy with uh, Hector and Achilles. That was a good point. And, I love that you know, point. The whole thing about Honor, Never like thought about that till then. Fall, you know, that kind of jazz. It, it brought me back to that. Both mm -hmm. times he spoke to his father reminded me of The Lion King. It, mm -hmm. it did for me too. I was going to say that. Uh, especially the part where he's like, uh, you know, you are more than what you have become. I haven't dealt with racism personally. Good voice. As much as some of my friends have, but I have, and I can tell you it's not a positive thing, obviously. At all. The story arc of going from... That's why this is no, so not gonna help relative. Because they don't deserve it, or whatever. His Especially in was. these times, it was a tradition now, that was passed down. It means so much. The Wakandans became and to who they see were. this, and he was the first one to break that. He was the first one Sorry to say, to talk "You know, about it's wrong. Don't make it right." Um, this guy is not. But to be see this man he is, is, be is the way he is because not it's only is phenomenal to see non-people of color to relate, to feel, to hit, and to make see this film and think about everything that resonates today. For him to be like in the is amazing plane and being like all y'all were wrong <laughs> that, that was pretty cool i really enjoyed the the fact that the movie came out and it wasn't trying to hit that i mean the black community did like it because who wouldn't want you know right. the first black <clears throat> just like that's the thing it didn't like, try to be things like that can be talked about about to death but black. movies like this can actually wake people's you know, eyes up and, and get it just them to was it was a fucking film really it, was a, one it, it was and you know well, me a masterpiece that's my own personal feelings on it. There's a fine line between self-preservation and just being ignorant. And I think that movies like this that, Love that quote. have the fantasy undertone. Bygone, Jim. Ease you in. Yeah, it's, I'm sure it's Matt loved that too. The message is very real. I love movies. I love the fiction very real. because it ties to real world issues. Yes. That's, yeah, you're right. I got a couple things here just to start off. I'm used to seeing Michael B. Jordan, who played Killmonger, mm. as like a really cool dude. So this is really the only movie I know that he's in where he's like the bad guy, right. which is really cool. Like, I think the first movie I ever saw him in was Chronicle, and he's like this sort of popular down to you know, high school kid. Ryan Coogler directed this. Michael B. Jordan was uh, in Creed. Uh, Coogler also did a movie called Fruitvale Station, which is very much about really good the thing. oppression of black people in America. And obviously, there's many undertones in this. One of the coolest things that I thought about this movie was the entire time there's this argument of should Wakanda share its resources with the rest of the world? And that's what they wrestled with. In the end, T'Challa and Killmonger shared the same philosophy of sharing Wakanda with the world. Yep. T'Challa eventually ended up thinking that that was right. Same thing that Killmonger well, was. Just an was. Extremist. But they wanted to go about it in different ways. So the philosophy was the same, that Wakanda is selfish for hoarding all of its resources when everyone else is suffering and struggling. Story about but sin. They were going about like Jenna said, generational it. sin wanted to arm is what it is. So that they could overthrow what do we truly value? What's important? Over other people, whereas T'Challa wanted to bring everybody together. Our own immediate killmonger, you have become people them or all people. Your entire life all of our people. These people that have oppressed Who do we care about? People, all for what? For you just to do the same to them. What makes you any better? Matt, I know you have a lot of feelings about this movie. Please share them with this us. This is the man of the hour.
Oh my god. <laughs> Man um, of the hour. Pastor, you're right. Halfway through this, I was just like, we're gonna try to stay away from this. It's a very sensitive topic. This type of movie important. is incredibly powerful, and I think can speak to molding the future. I swear to God, that's how I feel about these types of movies. Thank you. Wow, my lord. Get ready to edit this one, because yep. I got a lot of notes. They are a very powerful people. They demand respect. Mm -hmm. I loved how they were portrayed. I thought it was fantastic. Regal. Killmonger had a line, and he said, um, you have all the security, but you don't watch what you put in your body. Bruh. Such a minute <laughs> detail that it would only matter to people that are in the, you know, but like, I, I, that was big. I loved that. First time I cried was when T'Challa was oh, getting kind of tuned up in that fight. And then when his mother said, show him who you are. Yeah. Oh, in the theaters, God. bro. In playback, <clears throat> I, I don't know what I look like, but I probably look like she did that and the score just, kicked I in. lost it. Like, I feel like I get hit with electricity. Like, I can't control those cries and that just right. absolute honor piece. I love it. Yep. T'Challa and M'Baku, whenever they were fighting on the ledge, T'Challa was like, look, man, tap. I don't want to kill you. I love that. Right. And then I love that M'Baku had the, could stifle his pride enough to not die. Because obviously for a man of power, a man that's wanting to make it, um, that was a lot. That was a lot for him to swallow. I, I think that was a big, big jump for Amazing him call in out. his character. And then later on, him saying a life for a life. I love that so much. I, I thought he did a really, really good job with M'Baku, that, that character. Mm -hmm. is, is he slept on as far as a character? Maybe a little bit. He, he is shown more later on, but he's definitely never like a centerpiece. Yeah. I, I want to see more of him. I like him a lot. Homegirl with the joke about, you know what I call these? These shoes that make no sound? Sneakers. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it was so good. Who's the guy in the fights, like on the ledge? Zuri. All right. Whenever right. he is about to commence that fight between, and I'm jumping ahead here. And they have a good T'Challa and Killmonger. Exchange right an idea or something. That, yes. He had this look about him when he looked at Killmonger, and mm -hmm. you actually were like, mm, like he made like a noise, and it made me, <laughs> it made me sort of notice it. What do you think that right. look was Little things. that he gave him? Was it oh, was it, was it out of like disrespect? It was well, just like I mean, remember that he was the guy that. The king mm. saved. There you go. I, it was literally if you if it wasn't for me, your dad would still be here. I think it's also you know he was the only other one alive that knew about this kid, and he's the one right. that basically chose to let him guilt. leave him behind. Um, because if he would have told it was guilt, else, it was hurt, it was pain. Behind. So I took that look as like it was shame acceptance. And Agreed. Shame and regret. Power derived from pain and, and rage <laughs> is the weakest power a man can have. And oh, is that, a, is that a Matt? Bye, gone. That was good, Matt. I like that a lot. I mean, we saw mm -hmm. that in Killmonger. You could just feel the pain. And when they but went deeper later in the story him. of why, you could just see he's it so wrong, much. And it, you saw his he's unraveling before he even how he became goes about it. Like, you could just feel it coming. Completely like wrong. all this anger and revenge, which makes a well, He speaks to it today. Villain. I'm sort of jumping all over the place, but would you kill me my love for Wakanda, for Wakanda? without question? <laughs> she delivered it so well. She delivered it with so much power. A kid from Oakland running around believing in fairy tales. Whenever Killmonger said that on the train after he on the train tracks after he'd been stabbed, there was just so many nods to I think of course the black community mm -hmm. but also the white community. As a white person, I don't have that context. I have not been there. But I felt like this movie, and especially right now, mm -hmm. this movie did such an incredible job at relaying such a positive message while showing these struggles. I yes. think it was interlaced in so many areas. Do you agree yes. with that? As a white guy, I, there's only so much. And it's I know. so the much. The only thing I can say is, it's so unifying. Is that growing up, especially, most of my closest this film, friends, and it emphasizes to so many God, things, especially black, that but he was our own community goes time, through. I hope it's okay if I share this story. Black community. Cool with you, buddy. We always give each other a hard and time. And that's just, you know, even so, with everything time, going on, we have to a white girl went over to unite together as a people. And, he made some and that's something that we're doing recently that we haven't seen in a very long time, especially with this, you know, this movie. Best guy I've ever met in my life. And I remember like, that eyes was the first time that I've ever really seen They're with us. That I They're fighting for us. They're standing joking, in front of us trying to take bullets for us. I've seen videos of that I care white men and women standing in front of black men Gus, crying, I I fearing for their life, and them standing really in front of them trying to take a bullet, trying to protect them, saying, no, they are fucking humans. That has a medical scene that is somewhat oh, accurate. Oh, the medical part. Oh, talking about part gets shot in the spine Sorry, and one day later comes back. Is that the scene you're talking about? Yeah, we totally have that technology, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever he took I was getting torn up, up a little bit. to the mountain 
and was like, you know, here's Wakanda. That was another beautiful moment that he was like, you're dying, you're my enemy, you tried to kill me, you tried to take every, everything over. Mm -hmm. And then T'Challa still had the heart in him to be like, I'll show you Wakanda, even though you're dying. Like, And then he was like, I want to heal you, I want to save you. He was like, nah, I would rather die than be in bondage. And I think that was also a frigate. That, that was definitely more towards yep. yes. the black community than yes, it was absolutely. for us. <laughs> and that was a nod to the right. black community without a doubt, I would assume. When he pulled the knife out, he might not have died right then, but that's absolutely going to speed up his death. If you're ever impaled with anything, you get to the ER, the first thing they do is stabilize it and keep it there. So I thought that was really, really good. Of all the times they've never given CPR, nobody's ever thought to call 911. Sir, sir, are you okay? Start compressions. They finally did something, and uh, that was just—I was—I love that. I know nobody gives a, but I love it. Uh, I almost forgot. To that to that point. And I love M Michael B. Jordan's one of my favorite actors. I love him. His outfit as Killmonger Which I didn't was know this. inspired by Vegeta from Dragon Ball. That's Ball cool. Not to see. The I'm only like, other oh. movie that we've talked yep. about any type of racial issues was X-Men. And, it's, and um, one of the things that I thought Well, it's kind of like, even within our own community when there's they hate do, they did share the for one another and our own, and, or even at the these are times that really showed us and had us come together. And, like that. and, me a lot of Charles and Magneto. ignore and the bullshit, ignore the fighting, mutants, ignore whatever like, cause that there is. It brings it together. And that's what we said, like, you tried to kill me because everything I have, but I'm still going to show you Last two things, Where you came work from. to be an example of how we should treat each other. Illusions of division part. threaten our very existence. Mm -hmm. We are more connected than divided. In times of crisis, wise men build bridges when the foolish build barriers. We must find a way to look after one another as if we were one single tribe. I had Holden start that over and I watched it three times and it made me cry like a baby. Every time. I think that that sums up this entire movie. Yes. This was so friggin' powerful. Yes. I give this movie In the world a 9.5. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Is this your favorite MCU movie so far? Uh, Highest rating he's given. I think so. I, I, th I think... Honestly, Holden, my favorite one talk, was brother. Iron Man, the first one. <laughs> then it was Civil, Civil War. Mm -hmm. And then this one, I mean, there I'm was that so end much credit scene, I, so That's much, what got me so with this. That really made me part just, important to see how emotional he got with that. World, the MCU, with that, I, I with that scene. That point, it's damn near perfect. Like, I want to give this a 10. Not seeing the rest of the movies 10, and knowing that I only I have 1 to 10. If I tell you this is a 10 and I find another movie, like, this is a 10. Like, it's so good. I teared up three times. I don't think I've teared up in any of the other MCU she has movies not. yet. I was in so I was so invested in like seven different characters. They really made us feel all That's of these what it does so good. feelings. I related to so many of Everyone's these an investment. They had good humor. Everyone. Matt, I disagree with your score. I give it a nine point nine. Wow. Probably get disappointed. That's everybody. my girl. This is my honest Holden. Thing. I'd give this probably about a seven point five. Now, don't get me wrong, that sounds awful since everyone's like, nine, ten. This is a great movie. I love this movie. It's not one of my favorites. Hold on, we got beef. Movies. That's just how I feel about it. I, again, I love it. I can beef. watch it any day of the we week. We got love for your brother. Love we got Jordan. beef. Love Chadwick Boseman, 7.5, which I think is I, I think is good. I'm really trying to be careful. I don't want to be swayed because you guys are all nines. That's what I thought, and that's, that's how I think. Is there something specifically that makes it a 7.5? Right. Probably just some technical things about it. Uh, which would just come down to nitpicking. This movie was actually nominated for Best Picture. Wow. I don't know if you knew that. I don't really which got know. robbed. That sounds good. Go ahead. <laughs> there was a lot of issues with the CGI. Got robbed that shit. Uh, CGI I agree with. Two months prior to Infinity War. CGI I agree with that. They were down to At like the end. The, the end scene of CGI weeks, was like. like the last week to two weeks. That's why, especially okay. like that end fight scene, it looks very, it can look very cartoonish. And, it can. And that's no fault of the filmmakers. They just straight up. It was a case of running out of time. Again, just technical but stuff. It's not a 7.5, hold it. Mountains. It felt very much like a set. No, I'll play. I respect. Actually, like in Africa. Um, he's doing. He's, tell, his like, rating. Sky, it, what he's saying. Everything he's saying is out of it in, in valid. Aspects. I in know CGI. how the other movies down the line made me feel. And so how I hope I the other people in, the com in his comment this, sections weren't does assholes. Not stack up to that. I'm sorry, but it doesn't. Those movies are my nines and my tens. All right, guys, I know that this could be kind of touchy. Let's talk about it in the comments. Make yes. sure to subscribe to right. Matt's channel and Pastor's channel. Snappy videos, links for both are in the description. Oh, yeah. Make sure to subscribe to my channel as well. You'll get some great content. High quality content, as no. Holden would say. No, 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 no. We're, we are not. If you enjoyed the video, <laughs> leave me a like. It helps out all my right, channel I'm gonna a lot. End it there. And I will have all three of their profile their profiles what's this fucking t
Tinder. All of their pages linked in the description box below for you guys to go and follow. But like I said, I the minute I saw this, I I had to make a video because one, I love the channel, and Matt's reaction alone, it really touched me. It brought me back to the very first time I saw this movie, and it helped me. And they touched on so many things that today we go through, and it's so relative to today and I touched on it throughout the video and it's just so amazing but to sum it up the end credit scene just wraps up everything that we're going through today outside of the film so much and it goes back to like I said the videos and and people of you know, non people of color coming together in times like this and protecting us and helping us and saving us and fighting with us it's amazing that message is so important to have a unified front in the world and in america and this movement we have never seen this in so much in so long of a time we haven't seen this unification between blacks and whites this hard people may have had feelings about it and I said, oh, this is wrong, da, 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 da. But they weren't in the front lines with us. They weren't doing what they're doing now. They're not as woke as they are now. They're not seeing it for what it is now. And that's what I love and makes it so emotional. And how he can see this movie and make that correlation, that, 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 that comparison, that acknowledgement to seeing it, not only in the film, but in real life, and what the film was trying to do and convey with all the issues that are going on today and what makes this movie so fucking special. And like I said, it doesn't try to be black. It's just a fucking film that happens to be black and it's done right. It doesn't shove agenda down your throat. It gives you real world relative, excuse me, the Debatable, open conversation, everything. And that's what I love. That's why it's one of my favorite movies of all time. That's why it's, I saw The Dark Knight, which is my favorite film of all time. Black Panther is my personal favorite film of all time. And it's, that's me. Say what you want, that's just me. But, Matt, brother, Absolutely love it. Loved your reaction. Loved your words. Loved everything. And I want to share this with you guys because what I love, I want to share with you guys. And I want to bring more acknowledgement to their channel. And I know I'm a little guy in comparison. Um, am I? I think I am. I haven't seen his subscriber come. I'm pretty sure it's more than mine. Um, but I want to boost more awareness to this channel because it deserves it. Holden is a great guy, cool guy, his friends are amazing, again, I wish, I wish we were a lot, a lot closer, because I'd be right there with you guys, man, it's amazing, um, but yeah, so there you have it, guys, let me know what you think, I could talk about this all day, but I'm not, this video's already 30 minutes, damn near, um, Charlie Bear is very appreciative of all of this, and all of you guys, uh, Matt, Jenna, and, uh, Holden, and Pastor, everybody, um, so yeah, guys, let me know in the comment sections what you guys think, um, how you feel about the film, how you feel about what you just, you know, what you saw. Please, please, please go show them some love. Their pages will be in the description box below every week. They do this. They just did Infinity War, so go check that out as well. I'll put that in the uh, description box as well as their recent video, so you can go and check that out. Um, Holden was not in that video. Um, he had an emergency come up, and brother, I hope everything is okay. Um, in terms of family, I don't know how, I know that was filmed a little, you know, some time ago, but I hope everything's great now. Um, but yeah, guys, go show them some love. Subscribe. And be on the lookout for the next one. Again, Holden, Endgame better be two parts, man. It's three hours. Don't rob us. With just one section of ten minutes. Give us everything, because I want to see how Matt feels. Give us everything. So if you go to the video, if you go to the channel, tell them Knight sent you, and say, make Endgame two parts. Anyway, oh. <laughs>
Join me on the road to 100,000 subscribers, guys. Like, comment, and share. Subscribe if you haven't already, please. Subscriptions would be greatly appreciated, and those thumbs up will really help the channel. I would appreciate and love you all so much if you did that. Be sure to hit that notification bell to be reminded whenever this face makes a video. And follow my social media posted in the description box below as well. Crime Fighters! It's been real. It's been John. And as always... I will see y'all in the next video. Go subscribe to Holden, Matt, and Jenna. Show them some love, y'all. Peace.